okay so in this particular video i will be showing that how in a python python programming we can capture the real audio data by microphone and show it on a gui based application so this is basically a gui graphical user interface and uh, although i did not put any kind of interfaces here only i'm just showing the waveform through the graphs the speciality between these two graphs or two plots are that the top one is showing that the signal is passed after uh, a low frequency blocker that i am calling as a dc blocker and the lower one is basically the raw signal which is captured by the microphone so since it is uh, raining at the outside and some of the different low frequency components are also capturing by the microphone so once i just go to mute you will understand that how this two waveform varies and what is the effect of the low frequency blocker okay as you can see that uh, lower one was varying with a very low frequency and this this low frequency variations of there that has been blocked and that is being plotted over here so this low frequency was not present in this particular one in this particular top waveform so in this way we can uh, record our real time vo voices and go for any further processing and it confirms that the low frequency is also present in the in the magenta color waveform that is showing in the lower part of the graph and the brown color is showing basically the uh, dc removal waveforms after removing the dc or low frequency component this is mostly steady and it is fluctuating across a zero level and if i now just uh, produce a voice sound let's say a so it is a very interesting waveform so we know that for voice sound the signal is quasi periodic and we can see i'm just producing once again so that you can see that uh, quasi periodic voice sounds a so this is all about so now uh, if someone is uh, uttering any kind of unvoiced sound let's say so this is noisy kind of waveforms okay so let me just uh, show one thing uh, basically pictures so i'm just going to take a snapshot of it once again i'm just going to produce a vowel a so i have taken a snapshot now go and check this snapshot and uh, it's interesting that we can see this is a periodic interval this is a periodic interval now interesting point is that how do i find out this period so for that i will just make different video and just try to understand what is this quasi periodicity concept is thank you very much